A poll was conducted between August 2 and September 7, 2021, among a representative sample of 3,616 United States adults ages 18 or older. This summary is based on a survey conducted for National Public Radio, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, and the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. Here is what the survey found. 59% of those with annual incomes below $50,000 report facing serious financial problems in the past few months, compared with 18% of households with annual incomes of $50,000 or more. These serious financial problems persisted despite 67% of households receiving financial assistance from the government. To make things worse, 19% of households report losing all of their savings during the COVID-19 outbreak and currently not being able to generate any savings to fall back on. The release of this study is important now because Congress is discussing the size of the investment of President Biden's Build Back Better plan. This price tag currently is at $3.5 trillion over 10 years. This legislation will invest $450 billion in Universal Preschool for 3- and 4-year-olds Cap child care expenses at 7% of a family's income for children up to the age of 5 Allow child care providers to raise wages and expand services The Build Back Better bill will invest $111 billion into Provide 2 years of tuition-free community college Increasing the value amounts of the Pell Grants program. Invest in grant programs to help train new teachers and address the growing teacher shortage. Make a quality degree more affordable through targeted investments in historically black colleges and universities, tribal colleges and universities, Hispanic-serving institutions, and other minority-serving institutions. Invest $82 billion to allow school districts to repair, modernize, and rebuild crumbling and outdated school buildings. This increase in funding will help drive the need for 1 million good-paying jobs. The bill would also add dental, vision, and hearing coverage to Medicare, expand home care for older and disabled Americans, let Medicare negotiate drug prices with pharmaceutical companies, give paid family leave for a birth or to help take care of a sick relative, Invest in training programs that will prepare people for high-quality jobs in growing sectors. Invest in green energy initiatives such as extending clean energy and electric vehicle tax credits and establish an energy efficiency and clean energy standard. So with a bill this large, the most important question would be how will taxpayers pay for it? President Biden plans to pay for this by restructuring taxes both corporate and individual. This is how he wants to revamp the current tax policy, rolling back income tax reductions from the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 for taxpayers with incomes above $400,000 by raising their taxes from 37% to 39.6%, subject wages above $400,000 to the Social Security 12.4% payroll tax, closing tax loopholes such as reversing the failure to tax accrued capital gains at death, Increase the top corporate income tax rate from 21% to 28%. Right now, this bill is already being attacked by forces from outside the Democratic Party and from within. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema have both been vocal critics despite outside interests having contributed to their political campaigns. This is causing the White House and Democratic supporters to quietly reduce the size of the bill. This pushback still comes even though in a recent Vox Data for Progress poll, 72% of Americans favor increasing capital gains taxes on the wealthy, 71% believes in limiting deductions for wealthy business owners, 71% believe in raising taxes on the wealthiest 2%, and 65% believe in increasing corporate taxes. And this bill has broad support among all Americans regardless of their politics. In an August 2021 Data for Progress, Invest in America survey, 83% of Democrats supported the $3.5 trillion plan, along with 40% of Republicans and 58% of Independents.
This tax plan would raise between $3.35 trillion and $3.67 trillion over a decade, if enacted it in full starting in 2021, this will make the bill pay for itself in 10 years. One thing that politicians forget to mention is that when they invest money into our economy, it does something to our citizens. This influx of money and opportunities creates taxpayers. When people start to make adequate wages and you defuse some of the debt burden off them like paying off student loan debt or paying for universal pre-k out of our taxes, this allows the new taxpayer the ability to increase their personal assets by buying goods and services they probably would not have purchased. They can pay off personal debt such as auto loans and credit cards more quickly. This purchasing power increases the tax base not only at the federal level, but at both the state and local levels. It makes our economy stronger through a decreasing citizen debt burden. So what can you do about this? Well the answer is, a lot. Call your House and Senate representatives. Tell them that you insist they keep the amount of the bill as is, along with the taxation payout scheme in place. Let them know that you do not want a government that bends to what the rich in this country want, but answers to what all Americans need. Contact one, or all, of these three people. They are the lead negotiators for this bill. Let them know how you think. Give the White House a call. Let them know that you support the President's $3.5 trillion plan. Contact your state Democratic Party. Ask them what they are doing to support this bill. If you do not hear from the state party, follow up with your county Democratic Party for answers. Contact these people frequently. This shows them that you are involved and passionate about this matter. Try to find one person at the state level and at your house rep's level, that you can use as your, go-to, person. Call them at least a couple of times a month, but you can also follow up by sending an email or dropping by the local office. Work with like-minded people, hold meetings to develop strategy, and develop a rally in support of the bill. But nothing will be done and the rich will control the progression of the bill unless you step in now. You can find links to both the House of Representatives, the Senate, and the White House below in our description area to help you find the contact information. Don't let the rich in this country control how this bill is designed, because in the long run, this bill will affect you, the average American, more than it will a wealthy person whose money has been able to influence both politicians and public policy. This film was produced by Glenn Ryan, who is solely responsible for its content in conjunction with Tampa Bay Video Citizen.